Hello, my loves. Welcome back. I am so excited about today's video because we're going to be creating some beautiful skin today. Before we start, I am dousing my face with the Skin Smart Antimicrobial Cleanser. This is a dupe for the Tower 28 SOS spray. But I was just feeling a little puffy today and I was like, you know what? I haven't done like a good gua sha sesh in a minute. And this makeup look is very much going to be like skin focused and we want the face to be like snatched and like sculpted. So you don't have to press too hard like I just was, but Guasha is your best friend for this look. So I'm gonna pop up a picture here so you can see what I'm going for today. So you can see it's just like extremely dewy. I might not go that dewy, but it's like glossy, dewy, gorgeous, bronzed skin. Like we're not doing a ton of eyeshadow, um, but everything just kind of looks like glossy and gorgeous. We're gonna start with the Glow Recipe Strawberry this is a pore smoothing primer. We need a little bit of smoothness. And this is really beautiful. I just started using this recently and I love it. So we are looking for a good amount of glow today. So I'm gonna use a lot of different glow products. I'm gonna start with my e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is the shade four. I'm not sure. It's actually fine. A little darker than my face, but my body is tanner than my face right now. I'm just grabbing a little stippling brush and I'm just gonna like stipple this into the skin. Do you see how stunning the glow is? And our skin is so much more even now, so that's a great start. All right, so we had a quick intermission because my child decided to wake up from his nap after 45 minutes, but I did fill this brow in and I'll show you guys how I did it on the other side because I do feel like for this look, a thicker, fuller, like straight across brow is ideal. And now I'm just putting in some of my Anastasia Brow Freeze to like gel these bad boys in place. Just a moment for the before and after the brow transformation. It's really wild. All right, so basically all I did was I grabbed my usuals, my Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil and the Goof Proof. I kind of was just like going back and forth, but the first thing I did was obviously brush them up. And then I'm basically just filling in the sparse areas and I'm just doing like you know, small, tiny little strokes to fill these in to start. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth with the spoolie and kind of like blend it out. But the hardest thing is making it straight across on the top. I do feel like it could be, like the tail could be not as long, but anyway. So we're gonna do that with the other pencil. So once that's kind of down and messy and fine, we're gonna blend it with the spoolie. And the great thing is that we don't have concealer or foundation on yet, so we can clean everything up with that after. And then, like I said, we need to make it like a sh more straight brow. So we're gonna add a little bit on the top and kind of pull that outward. That's why I feel like I probably, like, I think I wanna like pluck these, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. So just kind of going straight trying to follow the model of this one and I was really using the photo as my guide for the brow this volumizing pencil is really nice I do feel like in some way I don't know how they did it it adds volume to your brows it's kind of wild it just makes them fluffier all right and then same thing with the spoolie and then I just kind of go back in and refine and make um all the little like you know, the tiny little spots, like a little more cleaned up and then we'll add on our brow freeze. Okay, the key with this brow freeze is to really coat the lashes. So I like to comb them down first, make sure your spoolie is clean. And then once you pull them up, they will just like laminate and stay beautifully like defined. I just feel like they look so natural when you define them like this. I'm gonna add a teeny bit more. Boom, brows on. Okay, so to get this skin she has the gorgeous, flawless, glowy skin. I'm gonna use a couple of products. I'm gonna use my Armani Luminous Silk because it's my glowiest foundation and I do need coverage a little bit just to like even things out. If your skin is gorgeous and has no imperfections, first of all, I hate you. Second of all, skip the foundation. I'm now gonna do my bronze drops. I do like a good amount of these because she is quite bronzy. And then I'm gonna add in my Say Super Gel, Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. And I do about a pump of that. We are going to mix this up on the back of my hand. Then I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. Honestly, this is gonna give me 
it's gonna give us our dream skin here. So what we're going for. For this, I wanna use a sponge because I just want the application to feel really flawless and like very like light, which I feel like a sponge achieves the best where like a brush sometimes we can get it feeling like things are moving around. I may need a little more product since I'm using a sponge. The sponge does soak a little bit up. Call me crazy, but I'm adding a little bit more of the bronze drops and this say um, star glow stuff. <laughs> Super gel, glowing super gel, and I'm gonna apply this kind of to the tops of the cheeks and like around the face where I really want a little bit more of a highlight. And I'm using my finger for this because I feel like the sponge does suck up a, a decent amount of that product and I just want like really blonde, bronzy, glowy skin. I do feel like this is looking fab. Okay, we are gonna move right on to bronzing and warming up the face. I'm gonna use the Mario Sculpt transforming skin enhancer. This is like an all over bronzy glow that you can use as like a bronzer and a contour, but it's actually meant to just like really like, I forget how he says it, but like bronze and perfect the skin, not so much like chisel. Like we just wanna like warm up and give the skin that bronzy glow. Okay, I'm also gonna put that kind of down the sides of the nose and then just like right underneath because I can see that she's just like, she's bronzed to the gods. So I'm just trying to really like build that up. And I do feel like we are nice, bronzy and glowy. We are getting there. I wanna chisel the face a little bit more. So I'm using my Fenty Match Stick in Truffle. And I'm just gonna place this where I normally contour again. She doesn't have like a ton of contour going on, but I just want to be like slightly more chiseled here. And it can't hurt to have a little bit more bronzer on the face, you know? For this product, I like to use a dense brush. I think this is an hourglass foundation brush, but I find like the denser the better for this product because it is a little harder to blend out. And I honestly think that's a good thing. Like it's not so creamy where it's gonna go away in two seconds. Like you really gotta work it in. You gotta work with it kind of quick, but it leaves the skin looking so gorgeous, glowy, bronzed, and I love it. See the difference? Amazing. The fun thing about this look too, is like you don't have to be too precise about where we're placing everything. Cause again, it's just this overall bronzy glow. How many times am I going to say that in this video? What do we think? I wonder, I wonder what count we're at here. Isn't that stunning though? Wow. Look at how this is coming together. Don't forget to blend into that hairline out onto the ears. We don't want any like, you know, unblended lines. And then we're gonna be scaring people. Okay, time to conceal. I'm gonna keep it minimal because I already feel like we have a lot of product on. I really just wanna brighten up that under eye and you know sculpt the face a little bit more, a little bit of an eye lift. We might want like a teeny bit here because my eyelids are like really purple. Maybe just like a little bit down the bridge of the nose, highlighting on the chin and the forehead and touch under here to sculpt but I'm trying, I know that doesn't maybe seem minimal, but I promise it's minimal product. And then we're gonna use our sponge to blend that out. Did I mention I am obsessed with this so far? Wow, wow, wow. We are gonna keep building on that glowy, glowy vibe. And I'm gonna use a little bit of my Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte. This is in Peach Gasm. And we're gonna use that as like the blush and highlight. We might use a little more blush after, but I'm gonna pop that on and blend it in. I do feel like she has this gorgeous like peachy glow as well. So I'm not gonna go super pink today. We're gonna keep it more peachy. I'm gonna need a touch of powder just to set um, the under eye. So I think I'm gonna do, I don't have my, sadly, I don't have my Givenchy She Prism Libre, which is what I would use. Um, I actually just placed a massive Sephora order. I will do an unboxing and a trying of everything because what I got is so good, you guys, I'm pumped. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna take my little puffy puff and a little bit of my Say 
and I'm just going to kind of coat the tip of that. And then I'm really just going to set like in here and maybe like right here where I, where I crease, you know, and then I might go back on top of like any like really like areas I get like greasy, but I don't want to kill all, I don't want to kill the glow, you know, like we want to be set, but we don't want to kill the glow. So it's a healthy balance. I feel like that's pretty good. You want to make sure there's no powder like kind of lying around. So dust off any excess. And then I actually think this picture is an ad for Refi for their glossy highlighter and I have it. So we're using it today because I feel like what else would be used to achieve that look? It is so stunning, wait till you guys see it. Look at that. So I'm basically gonna apply this everywhere to the high points of my face, to my lids. We're gonna start here. And I think using the finger is the best way to just keep it warmed up. Do both sides. This is gonna be like the glossy highlight for the summer, I feel like. Let's do that over the nose, kind of right on top of what we did for concealer and that Charlotte Tilbury light wand. And then let's pop this all over the lid and then like up onto the brow bone. Boom. I feel like this is like a slightly gold shade. I don't know. I will look and see if there's a shade on it. Do a little on the Cupid's bow. Look at that glow. Hello. She's beaming. Just lightly going over all of that with my sponge. I mean, she is glowing. It's borderline too glowy, but I know that's what we're going for today. It is very minimal on the eyes. So I really think all I'm gonna do is grab a little brown and do my waterline. This is Jones Road. Don't be scared of me right now. We just want to like um, thicken up the lash line a little bit. And that's the quickest, easiest, most natural way. And then of course I'm going to use my Jones Road. Okay, so while that mascara dries down, I'm using a teeny bit more of my, no, that's not it, my Say powder. And I'm setting one more time. See how much better? I don't love when this part of my eye is highlighted. It looks just a little greasy to me. So that is more my vibe. See the difference? And I also looked back at the photo and it looks like she's pretty set right under here too. She's still glossy highlight on the cheek, but she's pretty set right here and bright. I wish I had my Givenchy powder so badly. I just scraped off the mascara on this side with my clean spoolie. And that gloss definitely settles in to the lid. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but what I'm, what I did, which I feel like works well, is I just grabbed like a clean eyeshadow brush and I'm just kind of like pressing it in. And I might want to add a teeny bit more of my, my Fenty stick for a little bit of like bronzy depth. I feel like a lot of it got, it kind of was gone. So we're adding it back in. Again, with this dense brush, just kind of pressing that in. And then I'm going to do a little bit of my Charlotte Beauty light wand. Did I already do that? I don't think I did on the lids. I'm so organized, you would think I could find things immediately. I'm not sure if I did this on my lids yet, but we need it. Just like that. You can use anything to blend this out, but I'll just stick with that same brush. If you don't wanna do eyeshadow, invest in this product. It's the easiest hack ever. It's so pretty. And that will dry down, that will not stay like glossy and get all weird, which I love about it. Okay, time for lips, which I feel like kind of are the star of the show. I feel like we have to use Refi, which I'm scared because ugh, this Refi liner, it, I love it, but it plays with me a little bit. Like, I, th I think we can master it, but we might need to do a couple other products on top. So here it is. The reason this 
product stresses me out is because once it's set, it's set, it will not move, which can be an amazing thing, but can also be a really stressful thing because if you don't get it just right, it's stuck the way it is. <laughs> so I tend to like go back as you guys can see and you guys know and like manipulate and kind of touch things up and you can't really do that with this. So here we go. I believe this only comes, I feel like this only comes in one shade, but basically I got this lip liner. I'll link exactly what I got, but I got the lip liner, that gloss that I put on my face and I think the brow wax all in a bundle on Sephora. So it's such a pretty shade. So you just basically, it's really not that complicated. I'm probably being dramatic about it, but you just have to manipulate it and get it exactly how you want it before you put the, the setting stuff on. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of pillow talk with that and I'm kind of gonna fill in the corners with this and probably the rest of my lip, maybe just leaving these two centers blank, but these two colors work really well together. All right, I'm gonna leave that for a second and we're gonna go on with bronzer. I double checked and like she's definitely more sculpted than this and there's some powder bronzer on there. So we're gonna use Jones Road, my little Jones Road, Road brush. You guys know this bronzer stresses me out, but it is perfect for this look. That's what we were missing. Okay, we're chiseled. Look at that side of my face compared to that side. We are bronzed. A little bit of this goes a long freaking way. You can see as I go in on the product, I am tapping off literally all the excess. I want no excess of product because it's so pigmented. Do the ears, do the ears. I'm also gonna add this to the nose just like that. I feel like that's kind of how her nose is. I do feel like this is coming together. We are gonna throw a touch of that on to the lid as well, because I just feel like we need a little bit more bronziness. And I'm just gonna do a little on the crease and then kind of pull it out. And I feel like we are really getting somewhere with this look. This is the BK Beauty 201, one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. It's so easy to use. And I just wanna add a little bit of that on the lower lash line. This is the BK Angie and Flashy A504. Why these names are so hard? No one will ever know why brushes are named this way. Okay, believe it or not, I feel the lips are ready. So if you don't know about this lip liner, you apply the lip liner like I did. And then on the other side, there is this like clear solution and you apply it on top once you're done, and this is what makes it not move. Okay, and then to finish off the lip, I'm going back on with that gloss that we used all over the face, that refi gloss. I'm just tapping that in, going over my cupid's bow, and then I just wanna make it a little bit glossier, so I'm gonna use Kosas lip oil in jellyfish. All right, we're gonna set with our, whatever this is, <laughs> almost empty bottle of my Charlotte airbrush. And then one last powder, which I think I'm gonna do Kosas Cloud Set, just once that totally dries down, just to like do the final perfecting. I like to give that like 15, 30 seconds. This is my favorite type of brush for the Kosas Cloud Set because it just fits right where I need it. And I just press it in. This keeps me glowy, but it helps me not look too greasy. I mean, it would be pretty impossible to be, to not be glowy with the amount of glowy products that we have on the face. I'm a little scared that I'm gonna be like darker than the rest of my body. Like, do I look, I actually think I'm okay. because so I have a little tan. I definitely went more bronzy than I am naturally, but that's it guys. Let's take the hair down. Let's finish. Okay, my love, so here is the final look. What do we think? I think it is so pretty, like bronzy, bronzy goddess, bronze, bronze glowing goddess. I feel like this is a great summer makeup look if you're just looking to be like really bronzy, glowy, really minimal like colors. Everything is super neutral, bronzed, or like a really like very natural colors, I feel like. I love this. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I'm gonna link everything for you guys below. 
If you want to see a hair tutorial, I actually filmed that um, earlier. So if you want to see how I got this bouncy blowout, go check out that video. Will that be up by now? I don't know. It may not be up yet. It may be coming soon. I'm not sure which video is going to go live first, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.